Okay folks, here we are. Welcome to the personal property tour for 16A Elm Grove in St Monans. This is an amazing four bedroom, two reception, semi-detached villa. Absolutely beautiful inside, spacious as well, plenty of cover space all the way. Wait till you see the back garden and wait till you see the garage. It's got a wee bonus at the rear of it and a wee log burner in there as well. But that, that's given away too much at this point. Let me show you where it is. By the way, this is your view over the countryside to the front. This is the property itself, so you've got your own driveway that goes down to the rear there where you can see your timber garage. This is the property, you've got plenty of street parking to the front, as you can see there, you can come in quite comfortably. But look at the sheer size of it and the depth, right, right along the front and then right away down to the back as well. So there's plenty of space in here. The advantage, you've almost got a south facing back garden as well, but I will discuss that in a wee minute, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Um, okay, let's go in the front door. So really good size vestibule as you go in, um, plenty of space for cloaks and boots and stuff like that. Um, you can see there straight away through this glass door, um, you've got a nice welcoming reception hall in here. Plenty of space again as we come through. We're going to deal with the downstairs in a minute um, and we're just going to pop upstairs and see three bedrooms up here first. So, first bedroom. Great thing about it, built-in wardrobes, dressing table area there as well. Plenty of space, for a, you can see that double bed there sitting there. Wee bit of storage off to the side. Amazing views over the countryside there. I can see the wee Swiss rolls in the actual fields itself, see the bales of hay. So beautiful views out there. And then across the other side, I can just see Larger law right there as well. So it's almost got a 180 degree panoramic view right across there. Okay, so let me pop back and just go around the room and let you see this final room and then off into the next bedroom to the right hand side here. So good size single room in here that looks over the back garden to the side. So really good size. And then off to the side, you've got a big massive storage cupboard for storage in there. Uh, you've got another double bedroom in here, integrated wardrobe, drawers, unit, storage to the side with shelves, and that gives you access to the eaves, which there's plenty of storage in there again, so there's lots of space in here and storage in here. Now let's pop downstairs. Uh, okay. Off to the side here, under the stairs, you've got an understairs cupboard for storage. You've got this beautiful luxury bathroom, four piece over here. Um, so you've got your corner shower cubicle with rainfall shower overhead, thermostatic. Uh, you've got your WC, you can see there. Your sink can set into its vanity unit and your bath off to the rear there. Bluetooth speakers built into the ceiling there. So if you want a wee bit of music, depending on what you want to listen to, or FM, absolutely. Kingdom FM, any radios, any music you want on your Spotify, uh, you can do it for your washing and getting changed. Um, off to the right hand side, we have the living room to the front here. So really good spacious living room to the front, as you'll see when you walk in. Plenty of space inside. Let's just view from a different angle here. And I'll just take you around. I like that picture rail up there. And then the ornate cornice. This will make something a wonderful family home, by the way. And then across, as I said, across you can see the views across to the countryside here. Right across itself. As you'll see. So, next. Uh, bedroom over here. Now if you want one level living, this has probably got it um, because it has the bedroom down here which I'm about to show you. You also have the dining room down here which I'm going to show you next and then you've got the breakfast and kitchen, you've got your bathroom here as well and you've got your living room here as well. So one level living, um, especially if that's what you're looking for. And if you've got any visitors or that, they can just, uh, they can just uh, go upstairs when they visit. Um, so, real good sized double bedroom, as you'll see, overlooks the back garden and the patio area. Um, what I like most about this, it's got plenty built-in wardrobes. So it's got huge built-in wardrobes to the rear there, as you can see when I'm coming around the mirror wardrobes. And then it's got a good amount of space for freestanding furniture, as you can see. And then that wee area, which is a dressing table unit area built in there. Um, 
pathway era to the rear. We're sitting about half past 11 now. I would imagine about one o'clock onwards, this is going to be really bright sunshine in here. A real sun trap. Look at the back garden right now though. Wait till we get out there and we'll have a look in this big massive extension off to the rear, which is the actual breadth and kitchen. Okay, let's go on our tour. And next one off to the right hand side, we'll go in finally to the dining room. So real good spacious sized dining room, uh, storage to the side in that cupboard. As we just pan round here, you see where the dining table and that goes in the chairs. So plenty of space. Now that has six in there just now. I think that could comfortably stretch out to maybe about 10 people in there possibly. So if you're entertaining when it comes to Christmas and stuff like that and birthdays and uh, guests over, then you've got plenty of space for that. Plus the fact you've got this massive kitchen with a breakfast bar there. I love these black and white tiles. Very contemporary. So a huge amount of space here. So the solid wood worktops as you go round, all the way around here. Uh, you've got an integrated uh, fridge. You've also got the dishwasher over there. You've got your range cooker here, and then you've got a freezer to the rear. So this is gonna be a huge space in terms of what you could use it for. Okay. And then the other bonus is you've got a wee laundry area off to the side here. So you've got space for your washing machine, you've got your tumble dryer there, you've got your sink and everything there as well. So if you've got pets, get them all prepared before you get them back into the house in here. Um, plenty of cupboard space along the rear here in the vestibule to the rear, and then off into the rear garden. I've got a funny feeling I'll spend most of my time here. Now this is great because this has got a real high fence area, wrought iron here, and this could be closed off. So if you've got pets and they've got high fencing all the way around, they could probably run about in here easily. You've got young children as well. They're all self-contained in here as well, which is ideal. Nice and safe and secure. And as I said, look, you know, this is half 11. The sun's sitting up here, so about 12 o'clock the sun's here. So literally the sun's going to come up over there and it's going to sit on this garden all day till it goes down over here. And this is why it's, it's going to be an absolute sun trap. Hence the reason why they've got the parasol up there to the rear. Now you can see these double doors coming off that garage. You can also see a log burner <laughs> chimney, which is I'd So you know what's coming in here. It's like another wee entertaining room. So if it's a bit of a rainy day, you can just pop into there. Barbecue off to the back, you can easily have there. As you see, you've got a nice seating area. It's all perfectly planned out. And you've also got that bit we saw from the bedroom eh, off to the side there. There's the wee single bedroom up the top. And then you've got your main bedroom down, down the bottom. And then you've got that wee sun trap to the side when you get towards the afternoon and evening. But beautiful property, isn't it? Let's have a wee look in here. This is a wee surprise when I saw it. But wow, your own wee bar area. Look at that, lovely, isn't it? So your own wee bar area. Let's just recap as we're going back in here and I'll show you in a minute. And I'll just take you here. Now what I love about this is it's got a wee log burner. So if you're in the middle of winter and stuff like that and you're sitting out here entertaining guests and well, well barbecue, Basically, Weber barbecues say the best time and the best weather uh, in the world for Weber barbecues is Scotland and it's winter because the moisture in the air keeps the meat uh, moist inside when it's cooking. Um, so it, actually, we've got the ideal weather for barbecues and it, and it should be the barbecue, according to them, should be in winter itself in the colder seasons. <laughs> news, flash, you know, news to me. Every day's, a, every day's a learning day when you think about it. So, as I said, plenty of space in there, um, but ideally that's purposely laid out for an entertaining area because there's, there's good off-street parking to the front and rear. So, for people that don't know where this is, just let me recap about the, uh, what's in the area. Uh, St Monans, it's three miles just outside Ely, so just straight back down the road or straight back down the Fife Coastal Path, you can go towards Ely. Um, you can also go back up to Pitt and Weem. Um, either way, from the road or the Fife Coastal Path, and on to Anstruth as well, which is the main shopping facilities. You do have local shops and cafes and bistros and restaurants here, and uh, you've got open water swimming at They've all got their own tidal pool, which is absolutely fantastic, uh, uh, to be honest. Um, it, it's a really good open water tidal pool, so if you fancy open water swimming, and that's your thing, that's perfect. Great local primary school, great local village community as well, and then your main uh, high school is at Wade Academy in Anstruth. Um, so, 
what more could you ask for? This is going to be a perfect family home for someone, a perfect lifestyle choice for someone. It's great if you want one level living as well. There's more details on this post if you want to click on the link above or below. You get to see the photographs, you get to see the description uh, and, 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 and everything else as well. If you need to contact us, you can contact us direct on this post. You can message us direct or you can contact us on 01333 421 774. And until next time, guys, I'm Jim Parker for Five Properties TV.